In this video, I will show you how to make Ubuntu look like macOS Tahoe. Now, this is a step-by-step -step guide to transform the GNOME desktop environment. You can also use this guide with other GNOME-based distributions. Now, for this tutorial, I will be using Ubuntu 2504 which features GNOME 48. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Now, as you can see, this is a fresh installation of Ubuntu 2504 running on my laptop. In just a few minutes, we will make it look like macOS Tahoe. Now, first open terminal and update the package list by running this command. Then upgrade the packages by running this command. Before proceeding, install TimeShift, a backup tool that allows you to create snapshots of your system. This backup will be used if anything goes wrong after installing macOS Tahoe theme. And ensure you backup the entire root system and home directories. Then click on Create to take a snapshot of the current state of your system. Next, we will install essential tools for customization. Just go ahead and run these commands to install GNOME Extension Manager, GNOME Twigs, Git, and other dependencies. Next, head over to this website and download the uLauncher Debian package. Once downloaded, open the terminal, navigate to the folder where the file is located and run these commands to install it. uLauncher gives you a spotlight-like search menu. After installation, go to Settings and create a custom shortcut to trigger the uLauncher. Just go ahead and navigate to Keyboard, View and Customize Shortcuts, then add a new custom shortcut. Now give a name, then paste the command to launch uLauncher and assign a key combination. I'm setting mine to super plus spacebar. And that's it. Now, whenever I press super plus spacebar, uLauncher will open instantly. Now let's adjust some settings. Open the settings app. Go to multitasking and enable hot corners and active screen edges. Next, open the extensions manager. Go to the installed tab and disable the default Ubuntu dock since we are going to replace it with a dash to dock animated. After that, click on browse and install these extensions one after the other. Now once you are done installing all the extensions, go back to the Installed tab, find Dash to Dock Animated and adjust its settings to make it look perfect. You can also tweak the animation options depending on whether you prefer performance or visual quality. 
Now your dog should look almost exactly like the macOS dog. Now let's enable the minimize on click feature. Open terminal and run this command to activate this feature. Next, run this command to clone the wallpaper's repository. Once done, navigate to the cloned repository and execute the provided script files to install the wallpapers. Next, open your web browser and navigate to this link in the description. Then copy the repository URL and paste it inside the terminal. After cloning, navigate into the newly created directory. To learn more about the script and its usage, run the help command. Once you are ready, execute the install script to install both light and dark versions of the macOS Tahoe theme. During installation, you will be prompted to install the GDM theme. Now once it's done, it will also ask you to set a custom background for GDM. I will be using the Tahoe wallpaper, which is present in the pictures directory. Now simply copy this command and enter the path to your wallpaper to apply it to GDM. And that's it, you have successfully installed macOS Tahoe themes, icons, and cursors. Now let's go ahead and apply this theme. To do so, open Tweaks app. Under Appearance, change both the cursor and icons to Tahoe. For the shell theme, select Tahoe as well. I will stick with the default light version for now. Next, go to Legacy Applications and choose the theme that matches your shell theme so everything looks consistent. You know, at this point, your GNOME desktop should already have a macOS inspired look. Now, please remember you can always revisit the Tweaks app later to fine tune your desktop. Now, go to the Windows section in the sidebar. Then change the title bar position to the left and enable the option to center new windows. Now finally open the U-Launcher settings and set the color theme to liquid glass. Now keep in mind, this theme isn't perfect. Some applications installed via Snapstore are built with GTK4 may not display this theme correctly. However, it's possible to override the GTK4 configuration file to apply a theme. Now with this limitation, you can only force all GTK4 apps to use only one theme and switching requires overwriting the configuration file once again. If you want to change the theme for GTK4 apps, the only option is to overwrite the GTK4 configuration with a new theme. This is the only way to properly theme libadwata apps. To do so, open terminal and navigate to the Tahoe theme directory. This script allows you to theme libadwata apps but keep in mind, you can only apply either light or dark theme. 
For example, I'm going to use the light theme by running this command. Once applied, all Lib Advata apps will always use the light theme. After applying this theme, it's best to reboot your system. Now you will see GTK4 apps with macOS look. If you want to switch to the dark theme, run this command from the same directory. Now just remember, every time you switch between light and dark themes, you will need to reboot your system for everything to look consistent. If you ever decide to remove the macOS Tahoe theme, Open Terminal and navigate to the theme directory and run the install script with the appropriate options to uninstall all themes. Now once it's done, open GNOME Tweaks, then switch back to the Yarrow theme and reboot your system. I strongly recommend using Timeshift Backup to restore Ubuntu to original state if needed. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.